Just wanted to give you a quick update. We're actually in the RV carriage house slash workshop, whatever you want to call it, storage. <laughs> it's next to our RV, so we call it a carriage house for now. We just picked up an air ride, and we're pretty excited about it. Now, we'll be real excited when we actually test it out. But for now, I want to show you what it is, what it looks like, where we got it, and so on, and what it actually does. We picked this up direct from Lippard Components. Now, it's an air ride for the back of the fifth wheel. We have an air ride hitch for the semi-truck now that goes up and down on the actual hit, right on the actual truck. This is for the RV to get rid of the old springs. Well, we're not really getting rid of the old springs. This connects to the springs. The more ride system we have on our RVs is going to be chopped off, and this is going to be put on. This is what it looks like. It's pretty heavy, though. Hold on a second. Oh, i got to get up for this one. This is a little bit rough. Whoops. This is it. This actually goes in between the leaf springs and the back of the RV. And you blow them up, you can blow up to 100 pounds. Probably they're saying about 70 is the right where you want it, right where you want to be. So instead of a rubber more ride system, this runs on air. So it rides on air. Basically, your springs turn into air. What's cool about this system right here is it actually, this system is a bolt-on system. So your existing shackles, they go right into here, and that's it. And then you hook your air lines up. So it's pretty simple, and you put your leaf springs right here. So um, this is a really, really neat system. It's crazy well made. We don't want our dishwasher, our washer in the back hopping up and down anymore over our bumps. See the wells in this? This is really cool. And look at how thick the steel is. This is some thick stuff. This is not a toy. This is some real, real heavy steel. It has an air gauge, air lines, um, shackles. You can put brand new bolts and shackles, which are really neat. This actually comes with an air valves. Com comes with all the air valves, everything. And I believe these are all new shackles. Yep. So, whatever these are. I'm not sure what those are. Yeah, those are the shackles. And then new bolts, too. So that's pretty cool. You got new bearings and everything. See the bearings? I have two of these, one for each side. The other one is in the box below. But right now I just want to show you one because they're heavy to pull out every time. This air right here, this air hose actually connects to another one and it goes to the gauge. So you hit, you can actually, this does not have an air compressor on this kit. You have to manually pump it up. But usually you just pump it up and leave it up. That's it. You, you figure out what weight is good for what you're carrying in your RV and that's it. You just leave it. Now we're not going to be putting this on our on our RV tomorrow. The problem we're having is our air ride, I mean our system, our, our RV is so new that it has a thing called a more ride system built in. We're going to chop that off and we're going to weld this on is what we have to do. Well, we don't have to weld this on. This actually just bolts on, but we have to just put a different center um, center post in there, replace the more ride because it's like an all-in-one unit on my RV. Most of them are not like that. It just happened to ours, we have that little welded post that we got to get rid of. We got to get a thinner post, that's all. And we're pretty excited to put this on our RV and try it out. I'm just going to make this short video uh, so I can upload it quick and just want to explain what's going on. And I posted this on Facebook. Everybody's asking me what happened with the air ride. What, you know, they don't understand what's going on. So that's what's going on. We're going to do a bunch of videos, probably do about four or five videos on this air system, the install, the ride, everything. So you'll see it all. Stay tuned, guys. We'll see you. Like and share this video. Like us and share us. You know you'll find us funny.